Hello my fellow YouTubians, this is Pool Shark Wizard and today guys we are going to be talking about horses. I have a pen set up right here and uh, I'm going to tell you guys a little story. Um, be sure to hang on towards the end of this video because I am going to give you guys an option on what you guys would like uh, to see being built around here. So I got this open area right here. I also have an open area right behind our little house here. And I also have a uh, spot that's right by the uh, horses here. Now there's there's two things that I have in my creative world. I have a barn that isn't completely done because I haven't figured out the roof yet. And I also have a um, a horse stable that's pretty cool. It's like a four-sided horse stable. It's it's pretty awesome. So uh, wait till the end of the video and uh, towards the end of the video and let me know which one uh, which one of those two you guys would like to see me build and where I should put them along here. So we'll just call the horse area number one behind uh, right behind the house number two and the third spot's going to be over there. So uh, let's start out with the story that I have here. So I have this horse right here, and his name is Cloudy. Uh, Cloudy One, actually. And the reason that I named it Cloudy is because it was the very first horse that I ever rode in my life. I was uh, It was back when we lived in Mankato, and we were doing um, those YMCA day camps. And one of the things that you did um, with there is, you know, you did the campfires, you did the canoeing, you did the um, archery and that sort of thing, which I'm kind of stoked about because the um, for Play on Con this year, it's going to be in Birmingham, Alabama, and it's actually on the 4-H area, so we'll be able to do some archery and that sort of thing, so it's definitely going to be a good time. But as you guys can see, this, um, this horse named Cloudy here, um, it is the name of the horse that I first rode, and it was just, uh, it was really cool. Now, one of the cool things, this is also one of the first horses that I found um, when I was crawling around my uh, Season 3 world. So, uh, the main base, I think, is out that way someplace. We're probably about a thousand blocks away from my main base. The main base being the Desert Temple that you guys have probably um, seen if you guys watch my Season 3 world. But, I have this little thing set up here. And as you guys can see, we got one, two, three, four, five. So this is five blocks high. Now what I'm going to do with the horse is I'm going to walk up to the wall. And we can jump five blocks high. <laughs> Just from a standstill. There's no running at it or anything. It's five blocks high. Where normally, if, uh, if I can hit it correctly, right there. We jump up here with absolutely no problem whatsoever. And it's pretty cool because uh, this area right around here, um, when I was trying to find the area, I think uh, originally there was the horses over this way, I believe. Um, I believe they were right over here, um, right over by that uh, little hill mound there. That's where the first horses were. So this is definitely a horse, um, horse uh, plains, which is uh, definitely cool. So. As you guys can see, we have another horse just sitting right up on a tree there. So that might mean, usually if you see horses on trees and that sort of thing, it usually means that they can jump pretty high, usually, for the most part. But I'm going to open up F3 here. As you guys can see in the top left-hand corner, I'm using the snapshot 13W23B. And it's uh, this is basically um, for 1.6. And when 1.6 comes out, it's going to be absolutely awesome because they included these horses. And the horses, I must say, definitely puts a huge plus into the game of Minecraft because um, with the horses now, it kind of forces you, instead of just trying to make a shop right where you spawn, it actually forces you to, to kind of go explore. And exploring is definitely awesome. I mean, it's called Minecraft because you want to dig and that sort of thing and craft things. But having the horses as an addition is absolutely awesome. And I found uh, the first donkey right down here. So there might be another donkey spawn in there eventually. And I'm going to cruise over to the other side over here as well. Because this uh, right back above this hill here. And this is going to be spot number three. 
um, wherever uh, you guys uh, decide uh, leave it in the comments where you guys would like me to build them but right back here is like a huge area for horses so there's a donkey sitting right there I already have two donkeys sitting back in my um, in my pen so far but as you guys can see there's just horses everywhere so there's two there there's one there um, there is a whole bunch around here um, so it's it's definitely there's a lot of horses that uh, have shown up around here and um, one of the horses th they like to end up on top of this tree so I'm guessing right now that horse because I seen that horse up on top of that tree before I'm guessing that one is probably a jumper too so if we walk right up here I'm guessing we can probably jump right up on top of the tree that's my guess yep there we go so we jumped right basically up on top of this tree and it's just it's awesome so um, guys yeah please let me know I've set up a little bit of a farm here I'm gonna probably redo this a little bit uh, we have some wheat we have some uh, oh what it lily pads and some reeds so it's uh, definitely pretty cool and then this was just a little house that I built and um, it took me a little while but um, I now have all kinds of horses in here and some of them I'm gonna probably I'm gonna go through uh, some of the horses here I just want to hold down shift when I click on this guy and grab the saddle wherever he is right here and there is another horse in here too that is uh, quite the jumper if I can find that one I think it's just purely tan I believe unless that thing despawned which is a possibility but at any rate um, where would cloudy one go right here I'm just gonna leave the saddle on cloudy one just because that horse is just awesome and it's it was just a little story that I wanted to share with you guys it's not you know it's not that big of a story but um, the reason behind me calling it cloudy one was just because that was the first horse that I rode all the way back when I was in a YMCA summer camp so if you guys ever get a chance to go on a YMCA summer camp they are absolutely awesome they're a lot of fun um, right back here um, this is a pretty cool area so I think I'm gonna probably this is gonna be like my second base um, and I want to know where you guys think I should build one of the other two buildings that I'm gonna show you here shortly um, I'm gonna take I'm not sure how long I've been recording right now but I'm gonna probably go check it out and as you guys can see I have a couple of donkeys in here I also have a mule right there and I do have a mule that's all the way back at um, main base as well because I did end up I wanted to try it out and the thing that's quite cool is I have a portal set up here so this goes down to the nether hub base it's a little ways away um, from the main base but I'm going to change that and I'll probably show that later on but uh, as for right now I'm gonna cruise I'm gonna drop off this horse and I am gonna cruise over to my creative world and show you guys the two buildings that I'm talking about and in the comments I want to know if I should build it uh, let me know which one to build and if it should be a number one where the horses are now number two behind here or number three which is all the way back in this area right there so it's gonna be it's gonna be pretty cool when it's done so let's swing over to my creative world and I will show you guys what that looks like hang tight and we'll be back in a hey moment. guys we are back and now we're in my creative world um, this is a work in progress yet I'm not completely finished with the uh, barn setup yet I want to extend this thing up one higher so I can actually add uh, another block couple more blocks down here to make the uh, creeper face more accurate um, and correct well I mean not accurate but um, it's supposed to be three 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 down here one two three and then these side pieces are supposed to be three down also so I need to move everything up one more but I want to get your guys's opinion if I'm going to do the barn here do you guys like the roof style that's on the right side with the light color or the dark side on the uh, left side there um, that's uh, kind of a couple of first choices I, as I mentioned I do not have this completed at all but um, the way that I have these stalls set up is they're uh, five by six I believe one two three four five one two three four five six yes so um, the reason I have them so big is because then I can easily place uh, it, it just it seems to work out pretty 
pretty decently f for what I have in mind for it. But we can fly up to the um, top side here. I started the roof, but it's not 100% done yet. I kind of want your guys' opinion. This was another style of roof that I was playing around with as well, just to see what it's like. Um, so it's not complete, but the barn's going to be the first one. And then the second one is this horse stable. Uh, so either choose the barn or the horse stable and which section you'd like it built in. So I'm going to show you guys this horse stable. I think it's pretty cool. It turned out pretty decently. We have some cool roof lines going on. Um, it's kind of like a brick style, but uh, of course all these blocks can be changed out. And I just have some shutters right here. The torches are on uh, fence post gates and it just it's pretty cool when you walk in you see this fountain that's right in the center and it uh, definitely gives it a cool feel as well as we fly all the way up to the very top here you guys can kind of see the shape of it and you know it has some different roof lines going on and it looks pretty cool this was another one that I was trying to that I was working out but I ended up going with this design here um, and it's it's pretty cool we can open up the door here here's kind of like the hangout areas for the most part um, you can walk right through go into the next room just like this and of course this could be bigger as well you know you could have the, like a little house or something like that but I also have these set up so these are the horse stables themselves now as you guys can see they're too wide and it's uh, one, two, three blocks high, but I have these stairs in here. And to uh, demonstrate that, I want to go grab um, the horse that I have tied up. Uh, just, whoop, missed it. Let's walk through the door. There we go. To demonstrate how they work, even with the half, with the, uh, st the upside downstairs there, it still works. So it's uh, definitely pretty cool. Just break away this, this uh, lead right here and jump on the horse. And the thing that's really cool about it is the horse, when you're riding the horse, you can actually go right in these doors, even be, because there is st stairs here, and the horses have to fit in a 2 by 3 area. So even with that, we can still walk in and just jump off the horse. And we have these little uh, basic, these fences set up so I can just go into all the stables if I'd like to. Um, it's a pretty decent design. Let me know uh, what you guys think of it so yeah you can just walk all the way around and took a lot of time you know just kind of creating it so it's kind of like an open feel even though it's not extremely huge but it still gives it that uh, pretty cool open openness feel to it that's my uh, opinion anyways but um, so that's gonna be choice number two so in the I could actually build them both but I you know it's gonna it's a lot of materials uh, this barn's absolutely monstrous. It's absolutely huge. And then the horse stable, it's a lot more intricate. It, but it still is a definite, pre definitely pretty cool looking setup. I mean, just looking at the sides, you know, it has the, tr the logs coming all the way out. It has the cool roof line. It has the little uh, windows um, towards the top that are more, that are there mainly for show. Um, but let me know what you guys think. Uh, this is the back side of it. We have four windows set up and it just it, it looks pretty awesome. That's that's what I think. Let me know in the in the comments what you guys think of it. But the question is which build which building would you guys rather see? Would you guys like to see the uh, stable, the horse stable here or would you guys like to see the barn? over in those different areas. Um, I could do them both, but also let me know in what area. So the horse stable, you know, either in option one where the horses are, or two behind the house, or three that's on the side of the house. Um, let me know in the comments. But guys, I think I'm gonna call this video good. Uh, let me know in the comments what you guys think. Uh, make sure to hit that subscribe button and leave a like if you'd, if you'd like to, if you like this video. But it, it looks, man, that just looks awesome. But guys, this is Pool Shark Wizard. Thank you guys so much for watching, as always. And I will see you guys next time. Take care. Bye-bye.